So Team Affinity is back in MLB The Show 23, and I just want to say, thank goodness it's back. This is probably the best way to build your team, no money spent. All you got to do is play the game, you get free rewards, and they're really good. So I'm going to tell you which Team Affinity rewards are the best and which ones you should go for first. Before I explain which cards I would recommend first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how Team Affinity works. Basically, we have divisions here, and there are specific base rewards and game modes and stuff you have to do, ta like tasks you have to do based off of the MLB teams, and you get free rewards by completing the tasks. You know, you're going to have a division, the AL East division, you're going to be getting AL East cards. The NL East division, you're going to be getting NL East cards, so on and so forth. So, I highly recommend you guys start grinding this because this is gonna how you this is gonna be how you build your team really quickly and really strong. So in each team affinity we have some henchmen with golds and diamonds. I'm not gonna go into those. We have captains and then we have charismas, which are the higher overall. So I'm gonna be going over the captains and the charismas. So let's start with the captains in the AL East. We have Adley Rutschman. Really, I wouldn't say really good, but good against righties, all right against lefties. Elite defense, though. This is going to be a pretty solid catcher card. I would platoon this catcher card. Chris Sale, four-seam slider, circle change sinker. Per nines are all right. Break is really good. Control break. Lefty, too. Aaron Judge, really good power. If you can't get Aaron Judge's live series card, highly recommend this card. The defense is, how does he have 70? I know it's a lower card. But how does he have 71 fielding? For the Tampa Bay Rays, we have Shane McClanahan, four-seam circle change, curveball slider. I think this is a pretty solid card. The pitch mix could be a little better, but pretty solid card day one. Alec Manoa, four-seam slider, single sinker, circle change. Case per nine are a little low, but overall, a lot of these are a little underwhelming. They're solid, but Adley Rutschman, I would say, or Aaron Judge would be the pick. For the Charisma cards, we have 97 overall Cedric Mullins. This is a really solid card. Really good swing. Really good all around, hitting wise, great speed, great defense. He doesn't have a noodle arm, he just doesn't have arm accuracy. This is one of the better charisma cards. We got Rafael Devers, his swing is butter. Really good stats versus righties, good enough versus lefties. Defense is not horrible too with 75, so he'll be silver at third and first. So this is probably one of the better ones. We have Giancarlo Stanton, oh my goodness, look at that power. This, th this card is gonna be insane. Okay, so far so good for the Charismas in the AL East. The defense isn't horrible, the speed is pretty bad though, but we have a DH this year. So this is going to be my pick in this pack. Wander Franco, this is another really good card, my goodness. Great contact, switch hitter, gold defense with some speed. And then we have Boba Shett. Overall, okay, this pack is stacked. Really good hitting shortstop. Defense is alright, speed is pretty solid as well. Now for the AL Central, let's start with the captains. We have Liam Hendricks. Okay, this is a really good card. Four-seam slider, curveball. Great control, great break. 99 velocity, does he have outlier? No, he does not, but he still throws really hard. Great per nines. This is a really good reliever card that's going to be pretty easy to get. We have Shane Bieber, 92 overall, starting pitcher. Four-seam slider, knuckle curve, cutter, circle change. Great pitch mix. Velo is not that good, though, and the speed differentials aren't that good. Miguel Cabrera, designated hitter card. Pretty good hitter all around, but that defense is atrocious, so put him at DH. We got Zach Granke. Okay, this is not a good card. Look at those per nines in that velo. My goodness. Byron Buxton, great power. Better contact than his live series card. 99 fielding, 95 speed. This is the pick in this division, 100%. For the charisma cards, let's go to the charisma cards. We have Eloy Jimenez. This is a really good hitter. Defense is pretty bad. Throw him at DH if you don't have Stanton. I would prefer Stanton over this card, but this is also a really good card with a really good swing. Tristan McKenzie. The pitch mix in the velo is holding this card back. There are better starting pitcher options. Javier Baez. I think this is a pretty good card. You know, really good against lefties. Gets the job done versus, or more than gets the job done versus righties. Defensive flexibility with good defensive ratings, and he has pretty good speed. For the Royals, Bobby Wood Jr., this is another pretty solid card. I would take Javier Baez over him. Bobby Wood Jr., I mean, he does have 99 speed. But Baez is better defensively and hitting. I would take Baez over him. And then we have Joe Ryan. Velo isn't there. Speed differentials aren't there. Pitch selection isn't there. This is not that good of a card. 
Moving on to the AL West, captains, we have Jose Altuve. Uh, you know, balance hitter all around. Defense is really bad, though. My goodness, the speed is all right there. We got Shohei Otani. It's Shohei Otani. You know, all Shohei Otani cards are nice. He's not going to have Outlier, I don't think. Good pitch mix. You know, per nines are not insanely high, but still a pretty good pitcher. And he has hitting stats, of course. It's Shohei Otani. Why wouldn't he? For the uh, the Atlanta Braves, the Oakland A's, we have Seth Brown, first base, completely outfield as well. Pretty solid against righties. Pretty good defense as well. And he has good speed, so this is honestly a little underrated of a card. If that that's not even proper English, but we got Paul Sewell in here, really good per nines, no, not good velocity, not good pitch mix. Martin Perez, good pitch mix, good velocity, but not not good per nines. So this is probably one of the lackluster divisions. My pick is Shohei Otani. For the charisma cards, we have Jeremy Pena. This is a pretty solid card, 99 defense, 99 speed, and he's a good hitter. This is one of the better infielders. Taylor Ward. Overall, really good hitting, except for power versus lefties. 99 arm strength and reaction. 92 speed. This is really good. Eugenio Suarez, that's amazing power. With solid defense, can play third, first, and short. Okay, these charismas are really good in this division. Okay, Adoles Garcia. So the captains aren't good in this division, but the charismas are. We got good power, solid contact, amazing arm. I mean, literally maxed out and good speed. And then we have Paul Blackburn, probably. You know, like, just get this card last. He's the worst out of them all. For the NL East, we have, for the captains, let me pull this up. We got Austin Riley. I love Austin Riley. This is probably going to be one of the better ones. His swing is amazing. Great hitting stats for a 92 overall. How do you recommend him? Sandy Alcantara. Velo, does he have Valor on the circle change? What? I, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be on the sinker. <laughs> but, I mean, really good. Velo, the case per nine is a little low though. We have Pete Alonso, really good power, not good defense. This is going to be a great DH card. JT Romito, balanced catcher, really good arm, good speed. This is going to be a really good catcher. And then we got Josiah Gray, uh, you know, all right, pitch mix. He's honestly not horrible for the Nationals reward. For the charisma cards, where are they at? Here we go. Oh no, that's the captain. Here, here are the charisma cards. Ronald Acuna Jr. Overall, great hitter, great arm, great speed. This is a great card. We got Jorge Soler. This, now this is a DH card if I've ever seen one. He could play the outfield, though. He doesn't have horrible defense, and he has a strong arm. Really good power numbers, though. Jeff McNeil. The power is a little low for me here, but he has 99 fielding and really high contact. Reese Hoskins, unfortunately, just tore his ACL, so he's going to be out for the season. But we do have a 97 overall. His swing is also butter, really good contact versus left, power versus left, and power versus right. Defense is silver, not a bad card. And then Joey Meneses, this is a pretty good hitter all around. Arm is pretty good. The defense isn't that good, but, you know, it's a great card. For the NL Central, we have, for captains, Ian Happ, switch hitter, great contact, all right power, good defense, good defensive flexibility as well. Joey Votto, I love Joey Votto cards, but this card isn't amazing against lefties, and he has bad defense. Corbin Burns, okay, here we go. This is the easy pick in this division. No outlier. Great pitch mix. Great stats all around. Andrew McCutcheon, pretty solid hitter. Could be a little better against righties, but, you know, the defense is also a little meh. Speed, though, he has good speed. And then Adam Wainwright, don't pick this card. He's horrible velocity. Just don't pick him unless he's your last card to get. For the Charismas, we got Marcus Stroman. Pretty good pitch mix. Velo is an amazing. Control break is pretty solid. We got Hunter Green. Bad pitch mix. Throws really hard, but he, he just doesn't have the pitches. We got Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich is the pick in this pack. Really good hitter. Defense isn't horrible, too, and he has good speed. Brian Hayes. Good contact. All right, power, great defense, and some speed. And then we got Tommy Edmond, switch hitter. Good contact, not good power versus righties. Maxed out defense, doesn't have a good arm, really good speed. This is an all right card, but yeah, it's just a pick in this pack. The last division is the NL West. Let's go to the captain cards. We have Zach Gallen, really good pitch mix. The case per nine is a little low, but overall pretty solid starting pitcher. Daniel Barr, whoa, okay. This card is probably one of the best captains. 123 hits per nine, 92 case per nine, 99 velocity. Does he have outlier? Yes, he does on the sinker. 
Control is not amazing. Break is pretty solid. This is a really good reliever card. Clayton Kershaw. Philo is horrible. Pitch mix is horrible. Manny Machado. Pretty good third baseman all around hitting wise. Defense is good as well. Great swing too. And then we got Brandon Crawford. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. Pretty solid hitting. Goal defense as well. So those are pretty solid. Um, Daniel Bard is the pick though in my opinion. Let's go to the charismas we got. Christian Walker, pretty balanced hitter. The contact is a little lower than other cards. We have 99 fielding. A really good card right here, honestly, but there are better options. Charlie Blackman, his swing is butter in this game. 99 arm strength. He's never going to have good fielding. Dustin May, this is the pick. Look at that pitch mix. 99 velocity outlier. Great hits per nine and case per nine. This is the pick. Juan Soto. Okay, he's also really good. Hitting-wise, defense isn't horrible either. Speed, not that good. Jock Peterson. Okay, this is another really good card. Really good against righties. And he has good stats versus lefties, which is huge because normally his cards don't have good stats versus lefties. All right, arm. Overall, these are pretty good, but my pick would be Dustin May. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new here, I'm Nick from Against Gaming. Let's have a great MLB The Show 23. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting content all year long. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.